Hi guys, I'm just taking you through the work for today so that you can confidently submit. Now, the purpose of today's lesson is for you to work out how to sort websites that are mostly commercial or aimed at selling and making money from websites that are mostly about providing you with information, so educational websites. So we're sorting commercial websites from educational websites. The activity, decide whether the websites linked below, see these links, are mostly about making money or mostly educational. Then write the reasons for your answer in the relevant box. So this is the box with this link. This is one box. This is a second box. So you'll be making a copy of this document and then you'll be writing your answers directly in the box and just open up um, that cell to whatever size you want. Okay, whatever you write there, um, that table will fit your response. Okay, now I've got some hints here. A commercial website is full of advertisements because it is about selling and selling products and making money. A commercial website invites you to purchase products, so buy products, and has buttons for you to hit to make payments. It wants to make it very easy for you to spend your money. Okay? commercial websites. Let's just separate them from these other websites. Then we've got sites that are mostly about providing information. Provide that information for free, although the site may request donations. They do not post advertisements. Now the hint is only one of the sites Linked below has the main purpose of providing information and one has the purpose of making money. So one of these sites is commercial and one of these sites is educational. Okay, let's hit this link and see what we see. This looks like an advertisement to me for a skin product. So we've got the before and after photos and the promises of what this particular product will provide. Best sellers. So these are the products that customers have bought the most. Add to cart. That's the purchase button. And here are advertisements. Shop now, start shopping. So do you think that this site is about mostly about making money or it's educating us about what these products can do? I don't see really a lot of information that researchers have come up with that re these are advertisements with for products with rather fancy names and words that might make us think oh i've got to buy that product luminous facial oil for example these transform your lips so these promises that advertisers make Okay, what about this one? What is the main purpose of this site? Okay, it's called Choice Product Reviews Topics Campaigns About Us. About Us is useful, as we've discussed before. It gives us some information about the comp company. Buying guides. Okay, so a guide is something that helps us to make a choice. How to buy the best hand sanitizer, how to buy and use sunscreen. So tips and bust a few myths. Cruelty-free cosmetics.
about us, who we are. We need to hit this button. We are the leading consumer advocacy group in Australia. That's a group that is helping people to buy things wisely and not get ripped off. Independent member funded. It's helping people get a fair go. That's what they're saying. Okay. Just going to go back. So product reviews. A whole lot of topics. So reviews give us information. Trying to establish which skincare routine can be costly and frustrating. The makeup, cosmetics and skincare sector spends up big to convince you that various products will make you look younger, feel firmer and do everything but make you breakfast in the morning. But is it all just clever marketing? Whether you're just looking for an effective acne treatment or the best cruelty-free cosmetics, we help you wade through the waffle to find what works for you? This really does seem to be a site that's giving us information and trying to assist people with their purchasing choices. Now, it has a donate button. Donate to choice. Fight for truth through investigative journalism and so on, so on. Okay. So to the idea of a, of a donation is different to a cost because it is optional. You don't have to donate. And if you do donate, you're helping to keep this website alive because people work on the website. Uh, is my donation tax deductible? No, not an Australian charity. So you don't get the money back on tax. It seems to be, be very open and honest and different to the other website. So you think it through. Which one is commercial and which one is mostly educational? Sites that are mostly about providing information, provide that information for free, although they may request donations. So I think we've had enough of a look at this, at those two websites for you to be able to make a decision about whether you think each of those websites or what the purpose is of those two websites. Okay, all the best with this task.